how to aim better at Rainbow Six Siege. Now this tutorial is going to be specifically on aiming, just aiming, not really tips, not tricks, none of that, just aiming. Now usually I pick up a lot of mistakes from controller players. Oh, by the way, this video, if you're a PC player, hop off. No cheaters, just, just controller. You know, I'll give you five tips on how to aim better and it will, it will drastically improve your aim. If you see my last video, go ahead and check it out. And without further ado, let's go. Starting at number one, whiffing. Now, if you play Siege for a considerable amount of time, you should hear the phrases, yo, you just whiffed. Yo, bro, you just whiffed while you were shooting at him. Oh, damn, bro, you whiffed hard. Basically, whiff means you messing up. Whiff means when you're aiming at somebody and shooting them, let's say your your finger, it just takes a whole strike across the joystick and you miss your shots. A whiff should look something like this. Now, why do whiffs happen? It's because number one, there's panic. A lot of people tend to panic. A lot of people don't expect shit. Number two, you know, accident. That could happen, but you know, just don't make accidents. Or three, just being too overhyped up and shit. Or just may maybe just being too confident. So whenever you're aiming at somebody, try your best not to whiff. Try your best to keep your thumb on that stick. You know, the only time your thumb should be moving all around your controller and all around the joystick pause is if you have like five sensitivity. Number two, controlling your sense. Controlling your sensitivity in Siege is so crucially important in Siege and some people don't even realize it. First off, to help you at everything, as you can see, I'm in Siege right now, go ahead, hop in freaking shooting range as you can see where i'm in the shooting range just go ahead you shouldn't be aiming like this look at this look no you shouldn't be aimed like this just go to this guy right here and then just move back and forth you can see back and forth and control your sense and if you feel like it's too low or maybe too high hop into your settings go down to options go down to controls and just tinker around with this Generally, some people have way too high sense or way too low sense, you know? Low sense, it should really happen because if you have low sense, you should be in a 20 range or even in a 10 range and don't be in a 10 range. But some people, they like to have high sense and it's just not a good thing, you know? You should always rock a general low sense when it comes to playing Rainbow Six. Number two, recoil. Recoil is such a common, like, thing people have to deal with. Like, Controlling recoil, some people don't even try. Cause there's two things when it comes to recoil, okay? Two things. It's either you're bad at controlling recoil, or sometimes when you look at an enemy, you just move, you just let it go up. Just, just shoot. You don't you don't care about recoil. And you really should. And generally in siege, please, please, please. Do not go out your way. Go to your local Walmart and order yourself like a strike pack. Or like order yourself a Zen and try to like prevent that recoil. Cause in Rainbow Six, you generally ha should have absolutely no problems when it comes to dealing with recoil, okay? Let's go to this target thing right here. Look, aim, look, this, uh, I showed this is like average recoil, okay? Yours should be like a, just a tiny dot. Okay, that was kind of terrible. <laughs> but yeah, you know what I mean. If you really want to be good at controlling recoil, up into arcade, load up a game, and use Twitch or any other character that has right recoil. Try to avoid an SMG-12 because you know that that that's just a gun to have high recoil. Last but not least, a uh, number five, just simply don't always. I'm talking like always try to like try to mix your movement within your aim. Okay, and what I mean by that is trying to move around. A lot of people have trouble shooting at someone when they're on the stairs. I'm talking about when you can only see their head level. And the way I fix that personally is I actually use my left stick to just move down, okay? Because you can't aim around, you can't look around. Just aim exactly where the guy is, move your uh, left stick down, where his head level, and shoot. Next up that we're going to have is dead zone. Please keep your dead zone at the right spot, okay? Dead zone is really crucial when it comes to aiming. I kind of forgot to say that at the beginning of the video. But, you know, there's so many YouTubers that have actually good settings for Siege. And go ahead, go follow them, you know? If you want me to make a good settings or my settings in Siege, I'll just comment down if you want it. I'll uh, make a video soon. We'll see how that goes. All right, that is it for our five tips. Some bonus tips I'd like to add in is when you hop into Siege, don't always hop into rank. Don't always play a quick match. But generally, these are just my tips. If my best tip that I can give you is please just be a low sense player. Okay, low sense player is really great. For when it comes to Rainbow Six, the only time you should be high sense if you're a KBM. 
And I really hope you're not KBM. <laughs> Anyways, that's it for today's video. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, you know, leave post notifications on. You know, I will soon maybe change the name of this channel or maybe just change the profile picture. You know, we just gotta hook it up with me and my boy Smugluffin. <laughs> and that's all there is to say. See ya.